Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll learn how to install Django framework. But before that, we need to check out how to install Python because Django framework is based upon the Python language. So let's get started. Come to the Google search box and type Python download. You need to click on the first link that is python.org from where you can download the latest Python version. You see a button that provides you the link for downloading the latest Python version that is 3.12.1. Click on this link to download. Once it is downloaded, open the setup and you need to click on customize installation. Click on next and ensure that you check this checkbox that is add python to environment variables and if you want you can install python for all users as well now ensure that you create a folder inside either c drive or inside program files so right now it is providing me the path c program files python 312 so you can either change it from the browse button or you can install it directly so right now i am clicking on install so once this gets installed we'll come back you can see that python setup was successful in order to verify whether it is installed or not open command prompt and you need to write python version python hyphen hyphen version if you are able to see the version of the python that is 3.12.1 currently it means that it has been now installed the next important step is that you need to add the path to the environment variables now what is the path that you need to set so come to your C drive, you need to open program files and you will find here Python 312. So open this folder and you need to open scripts. Copy this path from here. And then you need to open the environment variables, edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables, then click on path, you need to click on edit and then click on new you need to paste the path here so we have set the path to the environment variables after installing python let's have a brief introduction to the django virtual environment a django virtual environment is a self-contained directory that houses a specific python environment for your django project so means every time you want to create a new project, you need to create a separate virtual environment. The reason for doing this is because it allows you to isolate dependencies and libraries for that particular project. Hence, it ensures that different projects can have their own unique sets of dependencies without interfering with each other. Python has a tool called VENV. Using this tool, we'll be creating the virtual environment and hence will create the isolated environment. Once you have activated the virtual environment, it will provide its own Python executable and its own set of libraries which are separate from the system-wide Python installation. Now, in order to create the virtual environment, you need to write the command in the terminal python-m venv which is the tool to create the environment and then you have to write down the name of the virtual environment for now we are using my env and then after this you need to activate the virtual environment if you are on windows based system then you need to write the name of the virtual environment my env slash scripts slash activate dot bat and if you are on a linux based environment then you need to write the command in the terminal source my env bin and activate 
so you must notice that for windows we have the backslash while for the linux we have the forward slash so after this you will be ready to install django for this you need to write pip install django and in order to check that whether django is installed successfully or not you need to type python hyphen m django version so if it provides you the django version it means that it is successfully installed now let's do it practically launch visual studio code and open the new terminal and here i'll be changing the path to let's say desktop because i want to create the virtual environment and the django framework installation on desktop but before that i'll be creating one directory using mkdir and the name of the folder i want is project so this command has created a folder on my inside my desktop that is project folder so i'll be entering this project folder by using cd command i have entered the project folder now we are ready to install we are ready to create the virtual environment before that i'll be clearing this all so let's write on the command to create the virtual environment and that is python hyphen m v e n v that is virtual environment so any name can be taken here for now let's consider my env so after hitting enter after hitting enter you need to wait for some time so that the virtual environment gets created so we'll come back later on once it is done you can see that the virtual environment is now created this can be verified by going to the project folder you will be able to see one virtual environment file that is uh, my env it's a directory when you open this you will be able to see few other directories and a configuration file now we have to activate this virtual environment using scripts directory so come to the terminal and you need to type a command in order to activate this environment you need to write my env that is the name of the virtual environment then backslash write scripts backslash and then activate dot bat this is going to activate our virtual environment next step is to install django so we need to write pip install django so what is the purpose of pip it's a package management system in python which will help you to install and manage software packages so we need to wait for a few more seconds so that this gets installed so once this gets installed we'll come back so if you're able to see this it means that django is successfully installed and the latest version is 5.0 but still if you want you can verify by typing the command python hyphen m django version so if you are getting the version it means that it has been now successfully installed so in the next lecture we'll see how we can create our very first project in django framework